We are up here in the Winterberg Mountains um, in the Tokastot district. I'm here with my good mate, or Mark. Um, we've come up to hunt Fall Rebek. This is the home of the Fall Rebek. Um, Mark and I have been guiding together for over 20 years and this is the area I grew up in. Mark grew up on the coast and he's taken me on a lot of hunts down in his area for pushback and kudu and that kind of stuff. Had a lot of fun together. And Mark showed interest about three years ago in hunting a far rebuck. Yeah, the strange thing is you, it's amazing how these species, certain species just grow in you as you guide. I've guided quite a few. Um, but to actually take one and get that opportunity yourself. So I'm super stoked to be up here. We couldn't wish for better weather. And I've probably got the best guide there is. Number one, <laughs> he's going to be a bit slow today with his broken foot, which just suits me fine. This elevation is quite a challenge. And, um, yes, Greg, I think you're probably the top guy to actually know these animals and see where they're at and be able to judge. So I think together we'll put together a pretty good hunt here. But we're in the mountains. This is a mountain hunt. Yeah. And I mean, as a guide, both of us, if we, if we consider the international clients, this is something they need to put on their little agenda coming over. This is a specialized hunt. Again, I've only ever guided probably about two or three of these fall rebuck. Greg's had a lot more experience with the mountain hunts than me, so I think together it's going to be awesome. Man. Yeah, well, you know, you've brought the perfect caliber along with you, your 6.5 Creedmoor. I mean, it's a flat shooting rifle. It's a nice light rifle that you can bring up into the mountains here. Yeah, I think it'll be perfect. Generally, as you know, Mark, I mean, a close shot in a far rebex is about 200, 250 yards. But if we need to, a little bit further, you've got the caliber to do it. Um, no, we'll give it a good go. Well, let's get going. I mean, uh, uh, the weather's going to be great today. We've hardly got any wind, which, will, which is perfect. So let's go and see what we see. Wait, wait, wait. No. Uh -uh. Just look at it. What is that, like 80 yards? Mm. 62 yards. <laughs> we shot him with a bow. Now, when he went over, I could just see he was a ram, and I thought it was worth trying, you know, to get closer, but there he is. It was close enough to wing one off your shoulder though. Yeah. Sure you were <laughs> I was getting down foot. there and trying to judge it at the same time. But I mean, that's what you do when you hunt these things, Mark. There you go, Zart. You, you take the chance you get. Yeah, it's like a five inch ramp. 183 yards. Another two more years, eh? Yeah. Listen to this. You got the little goat light. Yeah, like a little goat bleat cough. His shape is not worried about that. He'll give us another chance, yeah. Buddy. Is he down? He's down. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well done, buddy. That came a little bit easier than what we thought, eh? Wow. No, well, we've been working in it all day, buddy. But I tell you, the straight in line is a damn walk. Not easy on these sticks. Not easy. <laughs> yes, it was a great shot. 286 yards. The first shot, what was it? Two... Oh, I think 220 or 230 at that stage. I can't remember. Yeah, it was a bit more. It was well, 250, we'll have to replay. Awesome he's, stuff. He's gone. <laughs> straight where you can see the track coming over the damn wall. Mm. There's a thick pole just to the left there. Jeez, my hands are shaking. And the pressure like that. These are old ram, thick, thick horns. Not, not a ram to pass up. I didn't have time to even try I and dial in him, yeah, and that's probably why I shot oh, a bit low. But let's go down there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Great <laughs> shot, man. Thanks so yeah. much, Greg. Yeah, was old ram. Let's go around this way. Wow. You can pull him out, then. Wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Man. Look how thick his horns are. Look at that. How old is this thing? Eh? Yeah, look at that from fighting and stuff. That's crazy. You know, Mark, this, this one, man, is something. He's got that perfect shape. He's heavy. Unbelievable. This is something that. But I need to put my gun down. We've been speaking about for three years, eh? Can, can get, it's. Get this brass down. I mean, look at that there, Mark. You know, we scouted most of the day. What helped was that we had Gary had given us some intel on them and Josh and I had been up here a few months back. So we knew more or less where these big rounds live. But yeah, you know, it's always had good to have the intel on the ground, but it never pans out. No. I mean, we've been going ahead. at it all day. Correct. And we've seen a couple of rams, but things that, the rams that just, just didn't cut the, cut the mark. Exactly. You know, we looked here in this area this morning for this ram. Saw the females, didn't see him. And I'm looking at him from behind you. Look how thick he is. Yeah. Oh, got, this is an incredible animal. It's a beautiful ram. Thank you, I mean, buddy. It's, it's really an honor to be this with you.